we never intended to start a theater company. That was never really the goal. We just wanted to get together and have some fun as friends. We were all stuck at home in early 2020. I can understand a person if you said to go away. We started on March 22nd, 2020, uh, which was Stephen Sondheim's 90th birthday. Uh, Joey and I were living together at that time as roommates, and we wanted to celebrate his birthday. So we opened a Zoom room and hosted a watch party for Sondheim's birthday. During that, we realized that the captions were not adequate. I mean, they're, they're great, but we wanted more. We wanted native language, native ASL users, because captions are so flat, they don't capture any of the emotion. Stephen Sondheim is famous for his complex music, his overlapping rhythms to songs happening simultaneously, and captions just really can't reflect that. You always are what you always were. We have a lot of heart. We have many people here who are local to New York City who have been involved in the theater scene for many years. And we have people here who are from out of state who came to New York City to be involved in this production. And the roots of Deaf Broadway really started because of people who had the passion and the love for the art.